ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the one and the only William Montgomery. Here he is, in the flesh, live in Sacramento, California. Here he is, the real deal. You just called me a pussy. <laughs> Are you really going to mess this up? I was trying to give a shout out to Daryl Steinberg, y'all's current mayor right now. <laughs> Big ups. Uh, Daryl, if you're watching this, uh, just please accept my LinkedIn request. I, uh, I had to stop smoking weed because I got real addicted to the embalming fluid. <laughs> Let me hear y'all make some noise if you ever faked your own death <laughs> to try to see how your dog would react. <laughs> and your dog ends up just trying to eat you. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have told that joke. Um, oh, my God. I don't know. Wow, William. I love it. Another I don't know. That piece of shit really threw me off. No, you're good. Everybody else, you know, a lot of people are doing their uh, first minute ever. William is one of the uh, longest tenured regulars in the show's history. How long have you been with the show now, William? Ten months. That's it? All right. Well, yeah. he's one of the guys in which it feels like it's been the longest <laughs> tenure ever. Uh, William and uh, William, we've been having fun. It's been fun. ten months now. Is that ten long months? I've I've had nightmares. I've had dreams. I've had premonitions. I've I've had it. You name it. I'm a mathematician. Let me uh, let me tell you guys that. Uh, had some fun last night. We uh, we're all staying in the same big uh, in the same big house right now, and uh, I got to hang out with William away from uh, the comedy club, and I realized that William is uh, funny all the time, uh, even even if he's just sitting on a couch watching something. Really, all the time. If you ever just look at William, you just start laughing. It's pretty interesting. Uh, William, you're one of uh, you're one of my favorite people I've ever seen before. Um, what's what's winking that, what, at people? What, are you are you winking? Are it's you giving like a, away winks it's like for Santa free? Santa Claus! Wow, look at that! Just giving it away. We've never seen this before. <laughs> Daryl, accept my request. Wow, he's demanding a LinkedIn approval from the mayor of Sacramento. Daryl, what? Steinberg. Steinberg. He's a hell of a mayor. Do you want to say that again? Please stop it. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That's, this is a big fan. Obviously, he follows you on the Instagram. Is this correct? Michael? <laughs> oh, we've seen this before. This is where William recognizes somebody in the audience. Michael Richards? Yes, that's him. So nice to see you. We've had long talks about <laughs> dreams, about nightmares, about... You had dreams about nightmares? I have dreams about nightmares. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> My goodness. Have you been having fun? This is your first time to uh, Sacramento, correct? It's been fun. Daryl helped me come up with a T-shirt. Uh, it says on the front of it, it's not lupus, it's your birthday. <laughs> hey, I like that. That's pretty fucking catchy. That's pretty goddamn catchy indeed. Now, the guy in the audience just referenced something about a bathtub. I did see something uh, earlier on Instagram. That was you. Is that you in the bathtub? Was that at the bathtub in the house that we're staying at? It was in Las Vegas. Oh, it's I, from uh, a different time. Okay, just checking. <laughs> I don't know. William, are you listening to me? Okie dokie. Uh, sometimes he fades in and out. Um, it's a normal thing with him. It's, uh, it's all good. So uh, today, uh, anything that happened today in Sacramento that you uh, that you enjoyed in real life? I, I just hope someone out there has some Vaseline. <laughs> I have some horrible 
jock itch. I have some bad chafing in between my legs. Now, this is something that you've been mentioning in real life. It's Austin. bad. It hurts to walk right now. So wh- how do you end up getting jock itch? It's I because don't know. You it's sweat profusely down there? It's from having no thigh gap whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. I, I, got, I could let you know. It's when your thighs rub together. A lot of waiters have that. What did you just say, Red Band? Can you slow uh, it down, I'm talking please? about your gapless. A lot of, a lot of what have uh, Waiters, like servers. Oh. And if you put some uh, flour in there, it helps uh, yeah. as, at a restaurant. But, there you uh, go. Go, red band, <laughs> getting it all out there. This is the, it's true. This segment uh, of the you. show brought to you by Double Tito's and Soda. Yeah. Uh, so and Advil. I took two Advil before I walked up on the stage. I'm feeling real loopy. <laughs> At the Advil got you a little buzz, buzz. It has. Wow. What else do you do to uh, get buzz? Sometimes. What else have you been taking recently? Man, that Advil's really kicking in, huh? I feel horribly on edge right now. This is a bad mistake, me coming up here. What do you want to do about it? Can I tell probably my best joke? No. (laughs) No. Objection, Your Honor. Objection, Your Honor. We did I, uh, this. We did I, have this. A, I have a friend who's paralyzed from the waist up, which is a blessing because he's a dancer. <laughs> there you go. I like that joke. That's a good one. It's different. I, uh, I like it when my mom goes out of town because I get to sleep on her side of the bed. There you go. The classic. That's my, one of my hey. favorite jokes of all time. Yeah. Why don't you, why don't you, why don't you tell us another joke we've What'd all you just fucking, fucking heard say? before, you know? <laughs> Please stop. Leading the witness. There you go. Well, William, I think you're absolutely fantastic. I think you're, uh, some of your famous one-liners are absolutely timeless, and I love them every time I hear them. So I just want to let you know that I have your little freckle-covered back. I'm white with black stripes! That is the racist zebra. That's probably... <laughs> there you go. Another, another oldie but a goodie yeah. from William. Uh, and another brand-new minute. Another brand new minute from William Montgomery live here in Sacramento. Is there anything else you want to say to these people before you go? Uh, Michael, I appreciate our dialogue we've had (laughs) online. You're so sweet. (laughs) There you go. How about one more time for the great William Montgomery, everybody? humans of all time, one of the top young rising comedians in the world, the big red machine, William Montgomery. Here he is, live in the flesh. Oh, this guy's leaving. He hates him. Oh, my God. Come on. Make some Who the noise fuck is the- that? <laughs> Let's give it up for Jerry Rice. Let's give it up for Joe Montana. So uh, Dracula and I have gotten uh, to be pretty good buddies. Um, it's just weird because he won't stop coming over to my mom's house now asking for blood, and my mom's pretty worried that he has a problem. So she now thinks I have a problem, and I have to be like, Mom, it's just fucking blood. Uh, there's no I in time work. That is the illiterate guy that works at a clock shop. <laughs> Yikes. So it's sort of weird. My uh, my brother won't stop doing crossword puzzles, uh, and he doesn't know how to read. <laughs> that did so much better last night in my dream that I had where I said that. Uh, is Tony Chin here? <laughs> Seriously, is Tony Chin here? There's a guy there raising his hand, William. Tony? I've never seen this happen. What'd you just fucking say? (laughs) How about another hand for William Montgomery? I think that was just the guy pretending to be Tony Chin there for a second. Tony? Does that look like Tony Chin? We've never seen... Tony Chin? Take your hat off. It's not. Uh, it's not him. William, uh, how's life going? It's pretty good. I've, I, 
actually went against your will. I've been pounding uh, Tito's and and cranberry juice up there. I'm pretty much blacked out right now. I'm I specifically told everybody before the show that we have two massive shows tonight to pace yourselves. Why have you been doing that to yourself? Because I've run out of minutes. I don't have another one for the next show. <laughs> You've run out of minutes? I've run out of minutes. You're I don't so- have anything for tomorrow night. I'm... <laughs> I'm worried about it. I you currently have, have, have Legionnaire's disease. At How do you know you have Legionnaire's? What are the side effects to that? Uh, I can't smell my feet anymore. That's funny because we've all been staying at the same Airbnb and we can smell yeah, your feet like, just fine. Those Crocs are really cooking up some shit in there. Heck yeah. What'd you just say, Red Band? You heard me, man. Why don't you clean out your fucking ears? Okay, shut whoa, the fuck up! Whoa, they have a, we have a rivalry here. Please shut it down! <laughs> This is a real battle, but the natural disasters, earthquake and typhoon over here, really uh, going at it. So, William, uh, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I, my favorite part of your set was when you came out guns a just in support of Jerry Rice and Joe Montana. I, mean, I've never, I don't know, this new pandering thing is uh, really working for you. You got the crowd to go crazy Last there. Last night, it was Mike Bibby and Paige Stoyakovich. <laughs> <laughs> Those pieces of shit up there loved it. I hated all those fucking people. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, William. Uh, we love you so much. William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is. Live in the flesh. Come on, San Francisco. It's William Montgomery. Let's give it up for Barry Bonds. Let's give it up for Full House. <laughs> So, uh, uh, there's gravity in here, right? That is the dice-shooting gambler when he ends up in space. (laughs) Uh, I've been going uh, to the grocery store with my mom a lot recently, and every time she's like, William, just say hi to people this time. Let's give it up for Alcatraz! Let's give a moment of silence for my uncle, Richard Alcatraz. (laughs) He directed movies such as Jaws the Revenge and Speed 2. He was a trailblazer. He actually got killed on Alcatraz. It was gang-related. Total nightmare. My mom couldn't deal with the loss. She started taking Zantac. I started taking Zantac. Hell yeah, William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Wow, another Zantac thing. Yeah, it is another Zantac thing. Yeah, yeah. Zantac. So hard. Are you really going to say that right now? No, I mean, you guys have been getting quite argumentative lately. It almost seems uh, sort of hey, contrived at this Zantac. point. Zantac, hot topic. Get it. What's going on with you two? Is there a little rivalry going on? What are you guys doing? The weight gain challenge or no, something? No, 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 no. Wait. <laughs> I've actually lost weight. Yeah, how'd you lose it, William? What's your plan? What, uh, what's your P90X. diet? P90X. Really? You've been doing I P90X? I don't know if y'all do P90X. It's a lot of push-ups, a lot of body weight stuff. Yeah? Oh, can you, you mind doing some push-ups for us? How many of you want to see William do some push-ups right now? Whoa, he's actually going to do it. I don't know what's going to happen here, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Before you do these push-ups, Dude, can are, I... Oh, okay. wait, what, what, wait, 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 wait. They, they all... Well, well, no, don't do... What are you... Brian, what are you doing? Brian. I just hit you in the head. No, I just hit you in the head. Brian, <laughs> Brian is... Uh, Brian clearly roofied himself tonight, everybody. He threw the bucket with names Let's at William while the crowd wanted to see him do push. No, no, I'm not committing anything. I mean, not this asshole. There you go. Fuck yeah, all right. The show will continue now. I don't know. This is some of, uh, some of uh, improv guru uh, magic happening right now. We are watching William do push-ups for the first time ever. Whole crowd's into it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Are we going to count them out with them? Yep. <laughs> wow. 
16, 17. Wow, he's fucking with us. 21, 22, 26, 34, 49, uh, 2, 3. Fuck yeah, William yeah. Montgomery, everybody. Oh my God, is there a male nurse anywhere? Ah. William Montgomery. Let me hear y'all make some noise if you like Tim Lincecum. In 2010, my daughter was born, but the only thing greater than that was the Giants winning the World Series. So I, <laughs> so I have a uh, movie uh, coming out. It's called Allah and... Uh, in Alaska, it's, it's about a Muslim man who falls in love with a lady uh, dog sled racer from Anchorage. Um, but their relationship is put to the test when Ramadan falls during the Iditarod. <laughs> San Francisco, if I end up jumping off a bridge, it's going to be from the Golden Gate Bridge! I uh, I used to homeschool my daughter. We fucked a lot. <laughs> Is that true? You. Ho Her name was Sarah. She was handicapped. It I'm kidding. My dad's gonna be watching this. That was all. That's all for my new Ghost Rider, um, Zorro Twenty Seven. Want to give a shout out to Zorro Twenty Seven. How about a hand for William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen? Wow. Live in the flesh, came out smashing, using a new technique we've seen a lot of lately from him where he uh, drops local references and gets the audience deeply on his side. Uh, Let's give it up for Paige Stoyakovich. <laughs> that did well in Sacramento. Uh, <laughs> Let's give it up for Mike Bibby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> William, unbelievably, uh, un unbelievably fun set. Long I love the love that you have here in San Francisco from these people. You had to wait a few seconds to start. Boy, the trolls on the internet are going to hate seeing that shit. You just soaking in applause before saying a single word. My God. There was some uh, piece of shit out front last night who said he was going to punch me. I had... I'd been eyeing him the whole time. I'll, I'll be honest, I was on Zantac 75. <laughs> I, I have something called Lyme's disease. Um, <laughs> Lyme's disease, huh? What was that noise? That was, uh, <laughs> that was a, uh, a haunted laugh of some <laughs> kind. That? Very interesting uh, maneuver there. Uh, William, uh, you, we love you. You're always fun. William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's William Montgomery. <laughs> Let me hear y'all make some noise for Willie Mays. Uh, September 22nd, 1987 is an important date for me. It's when I got married to my wife. It's also when Full House first aired on television. Let's give it up for Full House, y'all! Let's give it up for the Olsen Twins! Another fun date, January 28th, 1986. My uncle Ralph Martinez blew up on the Challenger shuttle. Uh, I've ne I've never stolen that much food from a 
God, I messed that up. Um, <laughs> let me try that one more time. Uh, I've never stolen that much food from a Kmart before. That is what I said to my arresting <laughs> officer last year before I got thrown in prison. Let's give it up for Alcatraz, y'all! All right. <laughs> William Montgomery. Using a new, uh, it, appears, <laughs> it appears to be a new device. We figured out, uh, he was in Sacramento, and he said, give it up for Mike Bibby, and the crowd went crazy. Let's give it up for Chris Webber! <laughs> and ever since then... Let's give it up for Pedro Stoyakovich! <laughs> Ever since that, he's been doing this pandering thing where... Let's give it up for Daryl Steinberg! <laughs> he's, he's, the, a, he's the mayor of Sacramento. <laughs> 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 wow, and you've realized that you can move the crowd in the direction that you like just by naming things about that city. Is that true, William? You just figure this out literally in Sacramento. I mean... <laughs> Are you plan is this something you're planning on doing back in Los Angeles am, on Monday? I'm just currently I'm horribly on edge. Do you wanna please fucking shut up? <laughs> I've got a lot riding on this! <laughs> I'm gonna be on rescue 911! <laughs> Some people never make it out of the mines. <laughs> William, do you recognize these guys at all? It seems like, uh, again, this is the... <laughs> there's been five people on this stage tonight that look like 49ers. Uh, Jerry Rice? <laughs> uh, Let's give it up for Jerry Rice! Hell of a receiver! How about Joe Montana? How about Steve Young? How about Darnell Dockett? <laughs> William, William, over here. William, look at me for a second, William. <laughs> oh, are you doing the winks again? We've seen this before. This is another way he's been connecting with the audiences lately. He, gives, <laughs> he tries to give each audience member their own individual winks. Really get you your ticket, get you your money's worth here tonight, getting a wink from William Montgomery. Gives you luck for a long time if you get that uh, wink. Hell yeah. <laughs> William, 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 you're going to lose an eye with doing this if you keep going. I've <laughs> you're going to have one really strong right eyelid if this keeps happening all around the world. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Did that guy get two winks? What was that? Hold on a second. William, I over here. William, you been having fun this weekend? I've had a bunch of fun. What I've realized... Uh, David Lucas, I got in the shower after David Lucas. Uh, yeah, we were all staying at one big, uh, one big uh, compound got, here in San Francisco. And you got in the shower with Shout David? out to Daly City, by the way. We've had a nice stay in Daly City. Shout out to John Daly! <laughs> He's a golfer from Memphis, where I'm from! Give it up for FedEx! All right, William, you're so much fun. I'm excited. William, William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is. Here he is. Live in the flesh, the big red machine, the one and only William Montgomery. Let's give it up for Kobe Bryant, Los Angeles. You will ever heard of Magic Johnson? So I try to avoid uh, the TSA agents who are also magicians just because last time Carlos pulled a gun out of my ear. <laughs> I was driving down the road the other day and saw a license plate uh, that said PVTI on it. And I drove up to the guy and I was like, what are you, a private eye? And he was like, what are you talking about? Sacramento! <laughs> that killed in Sacramento.
There you go. Stalling out. Were you were you wait, were you winking? Were you winking there at the end? Were you doing that new wink that you do? I was night. Y'all should have seen me in Sacramento for probably two minutes. I was winking at certain people in the audience. They left it. William does this new thing now where he winks at people in the audience and the crowd goes wild. It's very impressive. Some people, oh, oh, listen to the crowd go wild. He's doing the wink. I could tell you guys were skeptical at first and now you're feeling that wink energy. He's doing it. They love it. Look at that. It actually works. Wow. William Montgomery. So, uh, oh, he just gave one to Josh Wolf. Look at this. Oh, he's still looking at you, Josh. Whoa. It's so nice to see you, Josh. Yeah, it's nice to see you too, buddy. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? You know, you know uh, Josh? Yeah, we've uh, we've done a couple of... He's uh, come on uh, Control Chaos a couple of times. Oh, very cool. Heck yeah. yeah. You'd be fun on that, yeah, huh? He's yeah. a very the guy that just keeps on improvising right till... <laughs> yeah. Right till what am I? What are my other characters I, I think I created? I tell people I'm a stand-up comic coach. Uh, just giving them pointers, yeah. like talk about diseases that you have, uh, like Lyme's disease. Talk about uh, maybe your uncle in the middle. William, of it. you just went to uh, Sacramento and San Francisco <laughs> with us. Uh, did any of that? <laughs> you were on the road with us the entire time. We all slept in the same uh, big house together. All this stuff. You are a heavy breather. You have snoring issues for sure. Able to be heard uh, floors away and <laughs> down hallways uh, very far. I have something called sleep apnea. I'm a heavy smoker. I'm a heavy drinker. I have dreams every now and again. Heavy person. I, I've actually lost a bunch of weight. I'm down to 230 right now. Yeah? How'd you lose the weight? P90X. Really? <laughs> Can, would you mind giving us a little example of uh, the P90X that you know how to do? Oh, you just put the microphone on the ground. Just ignore that mic stand. Just put that anywhere. Oh, what's he doing here? Here he goes. Let's count it out! <laughs> He's screaming for it to be counted out. Let's see if they go along with it. Whoa! Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He fell down at what appeared to be 28 or so. That's impressive. He's obviously more of a writer. <laughs> Oh, what oh, happened? He pee? What happened? He made a little pee? Oh, he <laughs> split his pants, everybody. Oh, my goodness. William, I have a pair for you backstage that you can have if you need them. <laughs> Where's the mic? You put it on the ground, William. No, I'm kidding. I'm horribly out of breath now. <laughs> wow, that was very impressive. Clearly, the P90X is working. <laughs> How many more did he do than you thought he was going to do? Well, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Who yeah, the he fuck did. said that? <laughs> oh, he's, you got these guys in the audience, so you don't want to turn on William. He will get you. But William, you got a lot of <laughs> love. <laughs> you got a lot of love in San Francisco this week. At one point, uh, he stepped up to the mic first show Saturday, which was, I guess uh, was two episodes ago, for those of you that listened to this. Um, and you got like a 15, 20 second long applause break upon arriving to the mic. I've only seen this really happen to like Dave Chappelle and Jerry Seinfeld. But you just stood there soaking it in. The crowd in San Francisco absolutely loved you. And then uh, you gave them what they wanted. You pandered right down the middle. You said, Tony, uh, at one point he said, if I ever jump off a bridge, it's going to be the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> uh, and they were like, yes. I think one of my better jokes during that set was, uh, so I homeschool my daughter. We fuck a lot. Oh, my goodness. It's incredible that you can get away with material like that. Josh Wolf, what do you think about this guy? I want to tell you something. I, I've only seen you do your characters. I've never seen you do improv. I'm going to tell you this. This is the highest possible praise I can give you. I started with a dude named Brody Stevens. 
We started at the same time. It's the same kind of it's the same kind of energy that he used to bring up to the stage, man. That was fucking amazing. Yeah. Yep. That was amazing. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Abso-fucking-lutely. I agree with that 100%. There's some comedians that just have a little bit of a mythical spark to them. And yeah. while a lot of haters, I've seen it say, you know, William, William doesn't write real jokes. William doesn't do comedy the way I think it should be done. But, you know, I've seen him this week alone write two. He's sort of divisive, but I've seen him write two new devices this pandering thing which is very funny the winking thing which is very funny he was winking <laughs> to people as he was walking up i had no idea what he does the fuck he, was, he doing was doing it at the we were doing meet and greets massive lines of meet and greets after the six sold out shows and we were all signing things and this and that there's this whole line of us that people are moving down and william's just standing there just winking at people <laughs> as they go by he's very impressive how about one more time for the great william montgomery everybody <laughs> But anything can happen. Let's see what happens here. He's one of my favorite comedians in the world. It's the great William Montgomery, everyone. Here we go. <laughs> Wait a second. What? <laughs> Let's give it up for Michael Irvin Johnson. Los Angeles Lakers. So my uncle bought me some Sammy Sosa cereal last night. I ate it and woke up black. Where the fuck is Tony Chin? My uncle Tony Alcatraz took me for ice cream last night. We had a good time down in Venezuela. <laughs> I'm totally fucking this up. I'm... I liked it. I liked it a lot. William Montgomery. Heck yeah. This is very exciting. <laughs> This is very, very exciting. Uh, William, clearly uh, another amazing set from you. Uh, everything seems totally normal. Uh, definitely not David Lucas in a beard. Um, this is interesting. Tony, I, I'm I think I have abs- cancer. Oh, you do, William? Cancer? Think- <laughs> wow, that's incredible. I'm surprised you didn't use a good old uh, reference that uh, um, like only a disease maybe uh, black people could get or something like that, like sickle cell or something. Okie th- dokie. Yeah. Or uh, maybe high blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I've never seen a black man with a red beard before, and it is frightening me to my core. This, should be, this is like something from Tales from the Hood or something like that. This is, uh, you've never looked more like the chef from South Park before and than right now. Here, take a step back, stand between uh, Jeremiah and Daniel so the audience can absorb this uh, frightening shit. I guess uh, I've never really thought what would it look like if a black man had a red beard, but uh, this is it. Um, I'm so frightened that William's going to come out in blackface right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tony. I'm literally shaking in my boots. Uh, <laughs> Tony, does this turn his Crocs into gators? <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. So this is Black William Montgomery. We've never seen... Uh, this is like a w- William from Montgomery, Alabama. I guess we could call this character. Um, so what's, it, uh, what's life been like being Black William Montgomery? <laughs> I woke up this morning and my lymph nodes hurt. <laughs> I took some Zantac 75. (laughs) That always helps. And drank a PBR. Now, you and uh, David Lucas actually have a brand new podcast that you guys are starting together. It's called, what, Brothers, right? Brothers in Cursive, but it's not in cursive. Oh. It's called Brothers in Cursive. Oh, okay. I guess that works. I would have Filming at Death Squad, Red Band's new studio in Burbank. Oh, there you go. Absolutely. This is very exciting. A new Death Squad podcast. Fuck yeah. Well, that's uh, that's exciting stuff. I don't want to I don't want to keep you too long. Anything else you want to talk about or give shout outs to or anything like that or 
Where's Tony Chan? <laughs> okay. I love your style. There he goes, the great William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> William Montgomery, Alabama. Well, I guess I'm just going to bring up David Lucas now. Uh, and uh, this could be the first ever canceled episode of Kill Tony. So let's just see what happens here. Uh, I had no idea any of this was happening, by the way. If you're wondering, like, oh, this is great that Tony coordinates this wacky stuff that happens sometimes. Not at all. So, again, I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, you know what's funny is I did know that was going to happen. <laughs> Me too. Wow. Well, Me there, three. There you go. Well, there you go. That's very fun. I, well, that isn't, that, luckily, that doesn't change anything at all. Um, put your hands together for him. Let's find out what happens here. It is David Lucas. <laughs> oh my God. I'm tired of being big and black. You know what I mean? I try to walk down the hallway and my knee hits the table. <laughs> Y'all ever been big and black and put a red shirt on? They call me the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> I don't drink Kool-Aid. <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. Shit's hard, man. I'm thinking about trying crack. All those motherfuckers are skinny. <laughs> Ain't nobody giving big guys no pussy. Ask my mom. <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean, wow. Grover oh. Chris, shut the fuck up. You always talk. Wait, where's Grover Chris? <laughs> you, wrote, you wrote that for Chroma Chris? He's on the road. He's Red man looks like cat food smells. <laughs> oh, you got roast jokes like David Lucas. This is Joel's dick is so big it drags on the ground while he's riding Tony's coattails. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah has had sex, but is somehow still a virgin. <laughs> Oh Reagan God. and Watkins, more like Watkins and why'd I start a band with Patty Reagan? <laughs> He's roasting the shit so, out of everybody. So, uh, Tim was supposed to be here. Um. Until I met Tim Dillon, the only other gay Republican I knew was Tony Hinchcliffe. Hey, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That is true. David Lucas, more like David Lupus. Wait, that's me. <laughs> Hey, Brian, I didn't realize keto was 80% hard liquor. <laughs> you got a drinking problem. <laughs> Brian has a drinking problem. <laughs> he can't stop drinking. <laughs> he drinks Captain Morgan. Let's give it up for Captain Morgan. <laughs> This is the greatest comedic monster I've ever seen in my life. This reminds me, I watched uh, the, this new... Let's give it up for Bud Light! <laughs> Anybody out there ever heard of... Rap? Let me do that one more time. Hold on. Uh... Anybody out there ever heard of Heineken? Holy shit. Uh, I messed that last one up. My apologies. Uh, David forced me to do this. I was very against it. I mean, it worked out unbelievably. This you just said that? Oh, wow. Oh, someone's, he's, David Lucas clearly has some real William Montgomery Are you influence. Hispanic? 
All right. He's just, he's doing, William always does a special kind of crowd work where nobody knows who he's talking to. It's uh, a <laughs> very trademark style. Most comedians want to get an answer out of somebody who just sort of looks in an area. Are you Mexican? Oh, David Lucas is now winking at the audience. Oh, like well, I mean, I've never seen David <laughs> Lucas do this before. Like, uh, Santa Claus. <laughs> this, is a, this is one of William Montgomery's trademark maneuvers. Uh, this is impressive. Oh my God, so, uh, David, David Lucas. What's going on? <laughs> oh, you look. You have more roast jokes there. You have anything left? This is impressive. How much you prepared for this? I'm guessing David Lucas wrote some of those roast jokes, huh? Uh, does anyone else hate it when the clown you hire for your kid's birthday party turns out to be Jewish? <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I will say this, David Lucas. <laughs> um, I'm glad you... Mario! What? Mario? How are you? Have, you? have you worked with him before on something? Yeah, we did Rescue 911 97... <laughs> <laughs> How fun was that? I, I don't. I'm in a different place than you right now. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Well, David, uh, and as always, an unbelievable set. I mean, I uh, I really almost passed out from laughing a few times during this. Incredible roast jokes. Jesus Christ. I mean, this was unbelievable promotion for your guys' new podcast, and uh, I'm very happy. I always love it when people take chances and do things out of the box and out of their comfort zone, and this was an unbelievable treat. Uh, anything else, David Lucas? <laughs> Okie dokie. It was, it was uh, so oh. nice to be here. Thank you all so much. I'm moving back to the... <laughs> there you go. David Lucas, everyone. Fuck yeah. The great William Montgomery. Here he comes. He's got a steady pace coming to this stage. Here he is. Come on, everybody. This is him live in the flesh. The big red machine, William Montgomery. Rufio, Rufio. <laughs> On the third one, you'll do it. Rufio, Rufio. Oh! I'm a big fan of Hook, Moshi. I, it's exciting to meet you right now. Um, <laughs> that messed up my set. Hold on. Uh, so I'm really excited to be here this evening. I tend to do well in front of Japanese people. A uh, little bit about me. I had to Urban Dictionary TTYL last night. <laughs> so I've, uh, I've recently joined a band. We're called Smog Test. We're a uh, Limp Bizkit cover band. So I've been uh, trying to sleep a bunch recently. I don't really talk to a bunch of girls uh, when I'm awake, but when I'm asleep, I'm running game. <laughs> oh, wow. William Montgomery. Moshi, what a mess that was. Wait, I don't know. I didn't get it. Am I Peter Pan? Is that the joke? William, explain what you meant. <laughs> you think you disappeared? You look like the girl that that guy lost his virginity to. I know. That's... That's their son. <laughs> Catherine Zeta Jones. William, what did you what did you mean with the Moshe thing? What were you trying to say? What were you trying to get out? Are you listening to me? Yeah, what I was I just I really messed up tonight. I was smoking spice out back. <laughs> You're right. Wow. Why, why were you smoking spice? I don't know spice? if y'all smoke spice. I'm high on spice right now. Oh uh, my goodness. K2 brand spice. I'm <laughs> Wow. Horribly on edge. I was vomiting. I've tripped a couple times. What you you tripped like you fell over or you were like tripping like psychedelic? Fell down some stairs. Oh wow. That's incredible. <laughs> fell down a flight of steps, like five steps. I'm kicked out of my apartment. I have to move tomorrow if anybody wants to help me move. 
Wow, that's come up to me after the show. Wow. All right. You did I get mean, a new place though, right? Like you, you have a new place. I did. I have yeah. a new spot. What's the new spot? Uh, it's called the Eagle's Nest. It's a. Uh, I don't know if I believe this. I just wanted to say Eagle's Nest. No, it seems like a nice place. It's in uh, <laughs> Echo Park. Um, we'll see how it goes. Are I you have one r- of th- you have I, roommates? I have three roommates. Wow. Yeah. Have they, have you met them before? I know the one guy. So tomorrow you're going to move into a place and two roommates that are living at a place are going to see you walking in and you're the new roommate. And I'm going to be like, what is this, the eagle's nest? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you call this place? My. Hey, Red Band, do you mind not doing a fucking eagle noise during that? <laughs> why are you so offended by that? William, why, why does that bother you? Because I'm on edge. I don't know how I'm going to move my, my clocks, my pictures. You have multiple clocks? I have two grandfather clocks. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> like, what? what? Six feet tall apiece, probably 200 pounds. How does one collect grandfather <laughs> clocks? What'd you just say? <laughs> <laughs> I have two fucking 600-pound grandfather <laughs> clocks. Why... Why do you? That's more. That you have more grandfather clocks than most people have living grandfathers. Yeah, it's incredible. They, were they, how did you end up with two of them? One of my grandfathers actually died two years ago in Gainesville, Florida. He had two grandfather clocks. That's right. You got them both in the in the will. Yeah, I got. He them gave both. them both to you. Yeah, I got both of them. Did he not like you? Get my back on this one, Marshall. Oh, yeah, back off, Bonnie. I oh, mean, I'm what's sorry. going on, Bonnie? I, it was I aggressively asking you about your grandfather <laughs> clocks. Really Definitely the aggressive that. energy is coming from you right <laughs> now. Yeah, what's going on? Well, I just on? don't understand why people would fucking have two grandfather clocks. And not one shirt that fit. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I went on her side. I'm sorry. <laughs> I bought this I from Land's Inn that. last week. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, William. Yeah, wow. What? So how do you know the one guy that you're moving in with? How he you... helped me move right when I moved here from Denver, Colorado. I literally lived down in Compton for five days. It was scary. I drank with a man named Danio in the garage. He seemed nice. But yeah, uh, Jody really helped me. I'm looking forward to Jody's going to help me tomorrow. He does mushrooms a bunch. He smokes a bunch. He speaks in rhymes. But I think he's going to be able to help me out tomorrow. That Rufio thing you did at the top of your set, is that a soccer chant or something like that? I don't, I don't know what that was. I didn't recognize that. It is a that. chant from Memphis University School, the high school I went to. Me and Alex Rayner <laughs> would go along to all the lunchroom tables and be like, when you hear the shh noise, make the shh noise, and everybody would do it. And then on the third Rufio... Everybody would yell out Rufio. And I feel like you just lied to me. <laughs> no. Is this true that about the cu- Limp Bizkit cover band Smog Test? It is. What, w- what instrument do you play? I play uh, the bass guitar. You do? Have you ever played bass guitar before joining this band? <laughs> William? Tony, I am so sorry. The spice is really hitting me right now. <laughs> well, there I'm you go. Totally the- lying. I don't know how to play the bass guitar. I'm on edge right now, to say the least. There you go. From the spice house to the ice house. Uh, <laughs> there you go. The great William Montgomery, everybody. everybody. Live in the flesh, the big red machine himself. Come on, guys. It's the real deal. William Montgomery. Whose dick I got to suck to get my kids back? I heard that one time I was in court trying to get my kids back. (laughs) Hold on. You're telling me the fucking system's down? That's what I like to say when I call it Papa John's. Let's give it up for Papa John Shatner. He was a Marine. Let's give it up for Veterans Day. So uh, I'm pretty sure the best uh, shark weeks were between 93 and 97. A whole lot of chum, a whole lot of boats, a whole lot of cameras, those feeding frenzies. (laughs) 
that was my best joke of tonight. I thought that was <laughs> going to get the biggest laugh. It scares me. It did not. It's Veterans Day. My father died on Veterans Day two years ago. William, let's just start. Okay, one more time for William, everybody. Hey! There you go. So, William, I met your... Your father was on this show uh, <laughs> like eight months ago, so we know your father didn't die two years ago. <laughs> you tend to lie a lot on stage about things. Yeah, my, bo- my father died two years ago. He was in an escalator accident in Vegas. Um, it was a real nightmare. My aunt was really sad. Ah, because that's his sister. Yes, yes. Ah, very good. Well, welcome, William. <laughs> <laughs> w- William, have you moved out of your place yet? You got kicked out of your old apartment? I have. I'm, I'm currently living in Echo Park. Did, you find, a, did a, you find a good spot for your two grandfather clocks? Yeah, yes, we, I was able to transport them in a van. We found out last week that William has two grandfather clocks. Uh, have you gained? What, have, what did you gain? About ten pounds since last week? I've What's actu- going on here, William? What's going on with you? I've actually lost twenty pounds. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, no, I think I've gained weight. I'm on the ego diet. Ego? Is that? A, are you talking about the waffles? Yes, I eat a box of Egos every morning. <laughs> supposed to let go of them. Then I do some cardio. What kind of cardio do you do? Jumping jacks. <laughs> How many jumping jacks do you do? 200. I think really? you need apple what, jacks. What, what, why don't you do 200 jumping jacks for us right now? How many yeah. you would like to see that, huh? Here we go. He's taking off the backpack. He has oh, Crocs wow. with no socks, ladies and gentlemen. Hats off to William Montgomery. This is... <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He's already slowing down. Sixteen, seventeen. Keep the pace. Wow, this is very impressive. Oh, there it is. There it is. Reality sets in after 21 jumping jacks. I bet that's the most jumping jacks ever done in camo Crocs. (laughs) (laughs) William, we... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> William, we called your bluff there, and uh, it doesn't seem like you really do 200 jumping jacks. I don't. I'm sort of out of breath. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm horribly on edge. Why? Why are you on edge? What's going on in your life? What's happening? I caught uh, my roommates at the new place having sex the other day. Oh, yeah? Uh, I have a camera installed in their bedroom. You have a camera installed in their bedroom? Yeah, I'm a big uh, uh, camera type of person. I have two cameras in their bedroom. A, a voyeur? You have two cameras in their bed. We only have two cameras on this yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're a podcast watched around the world. Yeah, two cameras in there. Uh, they Did were get- having, having sex. What kind of sex were they having? Uh, Is it a the, boy and a girl? It was a boy and a girl. Was um, he braiding her hair? <laughs> what, what, was it Michigan? <laughs> it was a nightmare. I slipped in the bathtub. I was watching it on my my iPad in the bathtub. <laughs> what? I started getting excited. I slipped. I. You were standing in the bathtub with an iPad I was. on an iPad. Yes, You're the only yes. person with a bathtub that doesn't take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> you were standing. Was there water in the bath? Yeah, it was sort of uh, uh, lukewarm. There's, there's not great. How else is he going to wash the Crocs? You know what right. I mean? So you got to. Exactly. Did you get those two Panasonic ones I recommended? Who's, who just said that? I, you know who he is. <laughs> it was a red band. It was me. Guys, don't fight. I sent you that link. Yeah, I mean, are you really going to fuck this up? This is probably Guys, one of my stop, best sets. Stop. <laughs> and I think you're, you're going to pull man. that bullshit? I think you're wrong. This Guys, was definitely not your best set. Whoa. This was my wow. best Guys, set. probably one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Now, this honestly. was my best fucking set I've had. Tim, don't you agree? I love the Shark Week bit. Yeah. <laughs> I really like a lot of your Shark Week material. This yeah. was good. I mean, I'm still partial to the, the, that World War II Hitler mouse joke, but I do like the Shark Week thing. 
I love all of your sets always, William. You're such an enigma. I mean, just so deliberate, calculated, yet uh, full of complete shit at the same time. Yeah. It's just a beautiful... So, someone in the crowd just said, wink. You know how William winks at the audience members? Oh, they, they're requesting, they ask for it. They're requesting the classics every once in a while. Oh, you must be doing it. This is where this is where he goes around the audience and gives people personalized wings. He just wings. squirted. This is incredible. I get, it always works. The crowd absolutely loves it. Whoa! He just gave oh! one to Mike Meany. Wow. I've never seen him give one to one of the guests Holy before. Holy shit. Mike, I, just, I just came. Wow. Mike yeah. came in his pants. I think they yelled out, weak. Like, he's weak. Okay. All right. We already did that part of the thing. One in the wink, two in the stink for William. <laughs> that is incredible. Trademark winking. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Are you wearing a Dodgers shirt? I am. You look like Justin Turner if he was found dead in a river. uh... (laughs) He really does. Just floating down the river. That's right, because he slipped watching people have sex on his (laughs) iPad. (laughs) Well, William, another very fun set. We absolutely love every single time that you're on. You're a huge part of the Kill Tony family. Literally, getting bigger and bigger every week. Uh... <laughs> oh, you just got that one. <laughs> How about one more time for William Montgomery, everybody? There you go. <laughs>